We are living in a state of emergency. The fate of the Earth and everything on it is up in the air. Climate change is edging toward turning this planet into a giant ball of dust. But is there still time to change the future? And if we don't, how bad are things going to get? Let's find out how the Earth is going to look in 100 years. We are headed far into the future, but in order to understand just how unlivable Earth in 100 years is truly going to be, we need to make a few stops along the way. Welcome to 2030. Polar ice caps and ice sheets have been melting at rapid rates. And as a result, the sea level has risen by 20 centimeters. Floods and other instances of extreme weather are now more frequent. The rising temperatures have affected crop yields too. In less than a decade removed from 2023, 100 million more people have been pushed into poverty. The heat around the globe is resulting in a rise in cases of bacteria-related food poisoning. Bacteria love this new warmer climate, and they thrive in it. There is now a higher mercury concentration in all seafood. 250,000 people die every year due to climate change-related illnesses. Over the decade of the 2030s, the global temperature continues to shoot up. It is now 2040. The global temperature has risen by almost 2 degrees Celsius since the 2020s. Sea levels have risen by 60 centimeters in some parts of the world. The rising sea levels and resulting storm surges mean countries like Thailand and Vietnam are regularly devastated by floods. There is a mass migration as people look to escape the horrors of the countries they once called home. 8% of the world now has limited access to clean water. Waterborne pathogens, bacteria, and toxins present a deadly threat. As people suffer severe gastrointestinal issues, as well as liver and kidney damage simply from drinking contaminated water. Many people die from dehydration and starvation. Unbearable heat waves are an ever-present problem in society. Society is beginning to collapse. Two billion people around the world are now forced to endure temperatures of over 60 degrees Celsius, or 140 Fahrenheit at certain months each year. In cities, many have no choice but to wear face masks whenever they step outside. This is not because of a new pandemic like the COVID-19 virus though. This is because of pollution and smog. The sea levels are still rising. Storms and floods continue to displace millions of people, and water is fast becoming an unattainable resource for many. The rising temperatures underwater have led to death for almost all the coral on the planet. Australia's Great Barrier Reef is gone. Fish populations have drastically reduced, leading more people into poverty and starvation. Crop harvests are now exceptionally difficult, and many fail. As a result, the cost of food at the grocery store is now at an insane level. Food is more expensive than ever before. Millions suffer from malnutrition. War breaks out in some nations as the people fight over access to food and clean water. The chaos is going to continue. But before we jump ahead to the year 2100, let's look at an alternate timeline one in which we push our efforts to slow climate change, one in which our world advances, evolves, and becomes a better place for all of us to live. This is the year 2050, without the devastating effects of climate change. Welcome to a future worth dreaming about. Technology in 2050 makes life something of a stroll on Easy Street. Artificial intelligence is all around us, but not as we knew it back in the 2020s. AI now takes command of humanoid robots. These steel-plated people started out manning the checkout counters of our grocery stores and serving us food in restaurants. But they have advanced to the point of being able to work shifts inside a hospital, diagnosing and treating patients all without the slightest chance of a misdiagnosis or mistake. 
human error is becoming a thing of the past in professional environments. Robots also work as teachers, passing on unlimited amounts of data and knowledge to students anywhere, at any time. Chatbots and voice recognition software are still a thing in 2050. Though they are now so incredibly lifelike, they can pass as humans. Luckily for us, laws regulate the use of such software, so we never have to worry about being tricked by a quick-thinking robot or AI persona. Cars are exclusively electric, and to make this news even better, we no longer have to drive anywhere. We simply command our vehicles, let them know our desired destination, and then sit back and enjoy the ride. Gas stations have disappeared, we now charge our cars, and we're good to go. As for taking to the skis, electric airliners are being rolled out, and in addition, many of the world's major cities have air taxis. Small vehicles that hover above ground and make getting from A to B even easier. Essentially. They are flying cars. Lab-grown meat and other food products mean that more people than ever before have access to plentiful amounts of food. As humans, we are healthier and we live longer. Cancer treatments are almost completely effective, with fewer people succumbing to the disease every year. Catching cancer and any other health issues is now out of our hands and into the sensors in our clothes. These tiny pieces of technology monitor our health and well-being, alert us to any abnormalities, and assist in keeping us fit and active. And while they're impressive, they're no match for the neural chips that many of us have inside our brains. These chips not only serve to enhance our everyday lives by giving us access to entertainment, news, and information, they have also broken down every language barrier on the planet with an instant speech translator. With computers, the world was once at our fingertips, but in 2050, the world is inside our minds. FaceTime has been replaced with holographic communication and virtual reality. From the comfort of our living room, we're now able to put on a headset and visit the wonders of the world. Only Unless we make changes to life in the 20s, there will be no wonders of the world left to admire. There will be very little of anything left to admire. We are going back to the world where the climate crisis rules all. Welcome to the year 2100. We never made any changes when we had the chance, so we are now living in what feels like the end of days. The average global temperature has risen by over 4 degrees Celsius since the 2020s. Almost the entirety of the state of Florida has vanished under the rising levels of the sea. Coral reefs are now remarkably rare. 25% of the world's fish habitats have disappeared. 40% of the planet now faces severe drought. Insect populations have shrunk and their absence makes food harvests even more impossible than they were back in the 2050s. Areas once considered prime vacation destinations in Europe are now deserts. Wildfires tear through forests across the United States. By 2125, Earth is barely habitable for humans any longer. The world as we know it today has ended. The important question now is, is there a way to stop this from happening? Can we slow down climate change? Can we save our world? Can we save the future? We as humans are the driving force behind climate change. Quite literally, driving gasoline cars is one contributor. Along with the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation, each of these activities, along with many others, generate what we call greenhouse gases. These gases are referred to as such because they form a kind of blanket around our planet and then trap the heat in, giving us a greenhouse effect. You may have heard that just 100 companies are responsible for over 70% of all greenhouse gas emissions blamed for global warming. But that doesn't mean the problem is out of our control. We as consumers have plenty of power, 
we also have a duty to increase awareness of these issues. Getting companies to sit up in their office chairs and take notice has not been an easy task for climate change activists. But over the past few decades, much has been accomplished in this regard. Many countries have now pledged to reduce their emissions and champion renewable sources of energy. By switching to solar or wind power, this may not be enough though. So what else is there that we can do to help fight climate change? The answer lies with lifestyle changes, many of which are small and don't require tons of effort. The first small change we can make is within our own home. Doing something as simple as turning off electric appliances when we aren't using them can help. We can also try to consume more vegetables instead of meat, or we can even adopt a vegan diet. Reducing food waste and recycling, whenever possible, is another way we make a tiny dent in a massive problem our planet is facing. When it comes to outside the home, walking or using a bicycle instead of a car for any short journeys is a perfect way to do your part. We can also try to reduce waste by repurposing clothes or even buying them secondhand. All these changes are just a start. But the most important weapon in the fight against climate change is knowledge. The more people who know about and understand the future that we are headed toward, the more people who will be willing to make changes to help prevent it. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the fascinating issues facing our world, please give the video a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you're interested in even more scenarios brought on by climate change, be sure to check out this video that will teach you how to survive many of the natural disasters that will become more frequent as our Earth's temperature rises. Thanks for watching.